So let's jump right into some of the personnel initiatives that are coming to the fleet. I think the major one that a lot of people still don't even believe yet is that mandatory GMT is going away and that's coming up the deadline June 1st really quick. What would you say to kind of clarify what the fleet can expect and kind of what you would want to say to get ahead of some of the rumors that it might be churning out there? Yeah, what, you know, one of the things we, we really went after as we were looking at uh, some of the initiatives we wanted to, to entertain uh, and the good ideas coming from sailors through a variety of different means. Uh, and the secretary heard this, when, hears this when he's on the road. The CNO certainly hears it when he's on the road. Mick Pond and, and myself, when we're talking to, at all hands calls, is uh, this notion that we're crushing the fleet with requirement after requirement for general military training. Very basic stuff. Uh, yet it's, it's produced in a way that's very difficult for sailors to get access to. NKO is not the most user-friendly environment in the world. I know that. Uh, yeah, we, I th we hear that a lot from people. Uh, and, and frankly, a lot of the training is old-fashioned PowerPoint slideology. So we're really not training and educating people. We're just making them aware of issues. So uh, that frustration level, uh, it's not efficient. And we've layered one requirement after another over time. All for good intentions, but maybe not uh, with the best means. So the secretary just said, hey, look, let's knock this off. Let's, let's uh, start over, if you will, uh, come up with better ideas and certainly better training methodology uh, over time and give it back to COs to determine when they think their crew, uh, their squadron, their unit is in need of that kind of training. They know their sailors better than anybody else. They know their situation. They know where they are in the training pipeline. Uh, so let's give it back to the COs to make those decisions. And we'll hold them accountable for making sure that sailors are getting what they need when they need it.